Hi guys, I am here at your Bible reading for today. We're going to begin where we left off yesterday with Matthew chapter 15, verse 29, through chapter 16, verse 12. And we're going to start off with talking about how Jesus heals many. Jesus went on from there and walked beside the Sea of Galilee. And he went up on the mountain and sat down there. And great crowds came to him, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others. And they put them at his feet, and he healed them. So that the crowd wondered when they saw the mute speaking, the crippled healthy, and the lame walking, and the blind seeing. And they glorified the God of Israel. Jesus feeds the 4,000. Then Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I have compassion on the crowd, because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And I am unwilling to send them away hungry, lest they faint on the way. And the disciples said to him, Here are we to get enough bread in such a desolate place to feed a great crowd. And Jesus said to them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven, and a small few fishes. And directing the crowd to sit down on the ground, he took the seven loaves and the fish, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to the disciples, and the disciples gave them to the crowds, and they all ate and were satisfied. And they took up seven baskets full of broken pieces left over. Those who ate were four thousand men, besides women and children. And after sending away the crowds, he got into the boat and went to the region of Magadan. The Pharisees and the Sadducees demand signs. And the Pharisees and Sadducees came, and to test him, they asked him to show them a sign from heaven. He answered them, When it is evening, you say, It will be fair weather, for the sky is red. And in the morning it will be stormy today, for the sky is red and threatening. You know how to interpret the appearance of the sky, but you cannot interpret the signs of the times. An evil and adulterous generation seeks for a sign, but no sign will be given to it except the sign of Jonah. So he left them and departed. The Leaven of the Pharisees and the Sadducees When the disciples reached the other side, they had forgotten to bring any bread. Jesus said to them, Watch and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. And they began discussing it among themselves, saying, We brought no bread. But Jesus, aware of this, said, O oh, you of little faith, why are you discussing among yourselves the fact that you have no bread? Do you not yet perceive? Do you not yet remember the five loaves for the five thousand and how many baskets you gathered? Or the seven loaves for the four thousand and how many baskets you gathered? How is it that you fail to understand that I did not speak about bread? Beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Then they understood that he did not tell them to beware of the leaven of the bread, but of the teaching of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And that's where we'll stop today with Matthew chapter 15 verse 29 through chapter 16, verse 12. Now we'll go on to read our psalm for today, which is Psalm 20. Trust in the name of the Lord our God, to the choir master, a psalm of David. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. Selah. May he grant you your heart's desire 
and fulfill all your plans. May he shout for joy over your nation's salvation, and in the name of our God, set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven. With the saving might of his right hand, some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O oh Lord, save the king. May he answer us when we call. And that was Psalm 20. To the choir master, a psalm of David, trust in the name of the Lord our God. And lastly for today, we're going to read a Proverbs, which today is Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through verse 27. My son, be attentive to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them, and healing to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Put away from you crooked speech, and put devious talk far from you. Let your eyes look directly forward, and your gaze be straight before you. Ponder the path of your feet, then all your ways will be sure. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. And that was Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 through 27. Do not swerve to the right or to the left. Turn your foot away from evil. Okay, guys, that was today's Bible reading. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. I hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Let's bring those souls to Jesus. And God willing, I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.